Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a Hot Wheel collector. I think it all began when I was in third grade and I watched The Empire Strikes Back for the first time in a movie theater. I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I don't even drink coffee. But my addiction, my passion is die cast cars. Some days it can drive my family crazy because that's all I'm thinking about. I've collected over 30,000 Hot Wheels cars. My collection is over 10,000 pieces. It's a fine line really between passion and obsession. You have Robin, you have to have Batman. From Anchor Media Group comes a show that travels the globe to find the biggest, best, and most outrageous collections. This is passion or obsession inside the world of extreme collecting. It takes a special person to appreciate collecting. I have to have anything that I see that has that Hot Wheel logo on it. I'm addicted. I gotta have one of them all. You do that power walk through the back of the toy aisle, and you know you, you kind of feel a little silly doing this, you know, because you know on security film you, you probably look like an idiot. <laughs> we might have said he's nuts. How and why did these collectors get started, and what fuels their passion? 1250 124 scale models. You'll find out in this revealing new series. My father's the one that got this place started back in 1961. My obsession with Hot Wheels started back in 1968. Ever since I was a kid and got my first car at 16, I was just addicted to cars. My past collection all started with this guy right here. When I quit smoking, I decided instead of buying a pack of cigarettes every day that I would buy a new Star Wars figure every day. You'll discover why the value of their collections are immaterial, with many spending whatever it takes to satisfy their obsession. You can pick up a Hot Wheel car, and one is green, and it's worth a dollar, and the one next to it is purple, and it's worth 1500 bucks. Give me a price. 40 Wow, that's less than I paid to have them made. It's a passion. I love doing it, and I love when people love what I do. Our core customer is more like the middle-aged adult male. This is so wild. With all the things that I do, that's what keeps me sane. A surprising consequence of amassing these collections is adoration by fans and fellow collectors. Changing from a regular guy to the Hot Wheels celebrity that I am, it's kind of crazy. One of my favorites is the Hoth Wampa costume that I built. I feel like a celebrity when I wear it because everyone wants their picture taken with me. I could sneeze on Facebook and there'll be a thousand people that say, bless you. No matter what their passion or their obsession, an extreme collector never quits. This display, as long as I'm alive, will never be finished. I don't think my Pez collection will ever be complete because there's always more Pez. If I can't have the real car, I might as well collect something on my desk that comes close to it. And all for a buck, you could have a little sample of what the real car is. It's my love and my passion and my obsession. Passion or obsession inside the world of extreme collecting. Available now. But the real reason you guys got into this business is for the women, right? <laughs> women? <laughs> passion, passion or obsession. obsession. You decide.